I just 3D printed an airless basketball using the double lattice structure with the flex PLA that I've been using in previous videos. And I gotta say, the print was a bit trickier this time around. It seemed like the supports fused to the ball quite a bit more, and because of the internal double lattice structure, there are a lot of overhangs that kind of caused some issues during the print. I think I need to optimize my speed and overhang settings to get this print to print just right. I had to smooth out some bumps and imperfections before the test, but once it was smooth and ready to go, I ended up putting on the scale just to see what it was going to weigh, and it ended up weighing about 551.5 grams. Like my other videos, I'm going to start with the drop test, and it did just fine with that. The bounce test was a little interesting. Because of the way it printed, some areas printed rather well, others didn't print quite as well. So when I'd hit the not-so-great printed areas, it would kind of bounce weird or kind of fly away from me. But when I bounced it on the areas that printed well, the bounce ended up being really great. I would say even better than the file that I was using previously with no double lattice structure with that same flex PLA. As I was bouncing it, I did notice that there was a pretty squishy spot and after looking closer, it looked like there was a area on the internal lattice structure that ended up cracking and making the ball bounce in really strange ways. Like I mentioned, it seems like the double lattice structure with the flex PLA gives even better bounce than just the regular file I was using without the double lattice structure. I think if I can optimize the print settings for the double lattice structure with this flex PLA, it would end up resulting in a pretty well performing basketball, but the concern I'd have with this is just the durability, especially in the long run with the double lattice structure. It might end up be worth trying to coat it with something, maybe some Plasti Dip or 3D Gloop. I'm going to be trying out some other exciting filaments and options for this basketball in the near future, so be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the future videos, and I will see you in the next one.